Yes, they did it. They added it. Woohoo! IDCWoodcraft.com. I'm Garrett, CEO of IDC Woodcraft, the company you get your CNC router bits from. And yes, I am happy. Vectric has added draw curves back into their software. If you've been using Vectric, you had a version 11.5 or 11, and you upgraded to 12, you were probably like me, a little bit peeved that they removed a tool called Draw Curves, which is a very, very handy tool that we can draw with. So what I'm gonna do here, if you're a V12 user, I'm gonna show you how to get your software fixed so that you have Draw Curves back. And then I'm gonna give you a little demonstration of what Draw Curves is so you can see exactly why it's such a cool tool to have. So I'm gonna get on my computer, First thing I'm going to do is show you how to update your version. If you're using version 12, uh, how to get it updated so you have the draw curves back in your software and I'll show you how to use it. So let's get going. So I am now in my computer and you can see I have VCarve Pro version 12.004. Now the update is going to be version 12.007. So if you have anything less than 12.007, you need to do what I'm going to do to get your computer updated. So here's what you do. You go look at the right hand of the screen and it's going to say a version is available. In this case, it's version 12.007 available. So we want to install version 12.007, but first you have to be signed in. So you see right here it says my name, Garrett Fromm. And what my name means there is that I am signed into the Vectric portal. So if yours says sign in, you need to sign into the Vectric portal, however you signed into Vectric when you purchased it first. So you click your name or where it says sign in and then register, and then come back to the software here. And what you're gonna do is come over and click the version 12.007 available or whatever version it's going to be that's higher than 007. Select that, window's going to open up. Let's see what it says. It's the Vectric portal. And what it's doing at this point is it is now connecting to your computer. And you're going to come to this window that says, download your copy of VCarve Pro now. You don't want to do that. We just simply need to close that window out. And, and what's going to happen is you will either have a screen up on your computer or you'll have a little uh, shield down below in your taskbar. And it, when we click that, what's going to happen is this screen is going to pop up. It says, do you want to allow this app to make uh, changes to your device? And so this is a Windows program that's running in the background. My screen recorder will not pick this up. What you want to do is click yes. So what that's going to do is that you're going to now give the software permission and to, to do this update. And so now we've got this VCarve Pro version 12 update window that has popped up. It says big word welcome. And in it, it says welcome to the VCarve Pro updater or whatever version of the software you have, whether it's desktop or Aspire. And this program will connect uh, to make sure that and see if there's any updates. So we're clicking it and it says that there was an update and the update application has been updated and must restart the program in order to continue. So we're going to click OK. And now we've got to wait for this little window to pop up. There it goes. And it says update available. So this is where it has now told us there is an update available. So I was misreading that before. So what the, the other window was is it is saying we're going to go check for updates. And so that's exactly what happened. So when you have this, we're going to click next. It's going to start downloading the updates. And now we just sit here and twiddle our thumbs. All right, while we are waiting for this thing to upload for our patch so we can start doing the draw curves thing, which you're going to fall in love with the way the new way that they've done it, uh, I might as well just remind you if you are relatively new to CNC or you've been using, doing it for a while and you're not using a checklist during your setup, then uh, you might want to consider getting it. If you've been in CNC for a while, then you know exactly what I'm talking about when you forgot to set the XY zero point and you hit the start button and that router bit dove right into a halfway carved project or something like that. I saw a guy ruin a $3,000 table because his machine didn't take the proper settings. So anyway, there's lots of little steps that we have to follow to make sure that your CNC project turns out exactly the way you want it to. And if something goes wrong during the carve, it's almost 
always because we forgot something during the setup. So that's why I came up with this project setup checklist. This checklist is something I came up with because even though I've done this for a long time, I still make mistakes and I got tired of it. So this is something that covers everything during your setup like your materials and your router bits that you're going to be using and making sure you set the XYZ zero point and then some other things. So this works so well for me that I want to make sure that every CNC creator has a copy of this. So I'm making it available to you for free. Get this, download it, and use it every time you start a project. This thing's going to save you a lot of mistakes. And, uh, oh, this thing's finished up, so I need to finish up here. Down below in the description of this video is a link where you can get this as a PDF for free. Go down and get it. Start using it today. This thing will save you a lot of mistakes. All right, let's get back to this and finish this update in the Vectric. All right, we've come, now come to this point where the, the patch is installed. And what it's saying now is that we have to... Uh, it has to close down the Vectric program and restart it. And on the screen here it says retry or cancel. Now do not click any buttons on this little window. Instead what you need to do is close Vectric by either hitting a little X in the upper right hand corner or going to file and close. We're going to click the X in the upper right hand corner mm -hmm. to close the software. We don't need to necessarily save this file. I'm going to say no. <coughs> and it is now closing this and now we're going to click the button retry on this window and now you can see that it's got this window here now that's just popped up it says ready to patch so it's really important that you do not click the retry button or to cancel that little window you need to close the software and leave that little tiny window open all right, when you do that, then you click the start button and now all the patches are going to start to get installed into software. Vectric is pretty awesome. Um, I knew that they were going to put this back in because it was one of those tools that so many of us use. And shortly after we get this taken care of, I'm going to show you what this draw curves tool is because you're going to love it if you've never used Vectric. And if you have used Vectric before, put down in the comments how cool this draw and how useful this draw curves tool is. So now I'm just going to relaunch the VCarve Pro software and I'll show you how to make sure that your software is updated. And by the way, did you recognize the two girls on the picture? That's Liberty and Julianne, the two girls that keep IDC Woodcraft moving. All right, so we've opened it up and then you'll get this window here that says VCarve Pro. You uh, were successfully updated to version 12.007 in this case, although yours might be a little higher because they're always putting patches in to their software and it says see release notes if you want to look at the release notes you can click that and that will tell you all the little patches that have come uh, been done in this and you'll get this window here so you can check it all out I'm not going to do that so we are now taken care of now if what you'll notice is first of all in the upper left corner it now says version 12.007, which means we are updated. And if you go over to the right, upper right corner, it just has my name and it doesn't say anything about versions available. And so what that tells us is we are currently updated. So this is how you do the updates. Make sure you get this update because this draw curves tool is so useful. All right, what I'm going to do now in this video is I'm going to go and demonstrate draw curves real quick because they have changed the way it works. So it's really important that I show you how this works. So let's get back into the computer and do that. So the first thing we have to do is give you something to draw curves around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a bitmap into this image. A bitmap is basically a picture or some kind of drawing that you can uh, import and draw around. All right, let's get an image imported. So what we're going to do is come over to this icon under file operations. It says import a bitmap. Select that and then I'm going to go to a directory where I've got some pictures. There we go. We got Julianne and Liberty. So these are the two girls that run the IDC Woodcraft show. When you order router bits from IDC Woodcraft, these are the girls that are handling it all. So 
when you receive your package, know that they are the ones that packed, uh, packed your stuff and they've checked everything. They've given you your M&Ms. We always send out M&Ms and write the little notes on your package. So here's Julianne to the left and Liberty to the right wearing the IDC Woodcraft ball caps to let people know you are a CNC -er. You can always get these ball caps. I'll link that down below in the video. Uh, okay, so here's what draw curves is. Right now, we've got this under create vectors, the draw a line polyline. And basically what the polyline tool is, it's draw straight lines. But that's the one where we're gonna do the draw curves at. So we're gonna select that and simply come out into the design field and you see my cursor has that little zigzag above the plus. Now the plus symbol is the center of the cursor. That's where all the drawings gonna take place from. The little zigzag at the top is telling us what mode we're in. So we are in polyline mode. So we can draw a bunch of straight lines, just like that. I am moving my mouse and then I'm clicking my, uh, my left mouse button. Now I'm gonna turn off my snaps for a moment because that's getting a little messy there. And now what you can do, we're gonna, well, we're gonna undo that. I'm gonna hit the delete, go back into the polyline tool and now you're taking a look at my cursor. I'm gonna hit the letter S on my keyboard. And I want you to watch the little zigzag line above my cursor. And that is going to change into a little swirly line. So what that has done now is that has gone from drawing straight lines to drawing draw curves. So when I actually start clicking, you can see now I'm not creating straight lines, I'm creating curves. And let's say I'm drawing a curve like that and I wanted to go back to straight lines, all I have to do is hit the letter S again and now we're back to straight lines, but it's maintained the curves that we had before. Now, here's where draw curves gets really cool. First of all, I need to end this drawing of this line, but I don't want to get out of the draw line mode. So all we have to do is hit the space bar and that will reset the start of the draw curves. So we've got Julianne here. And what we want to do is actually trace around Julianne a little bit. So you can see right now my cursor is the zigzag line. I'm going to hit the letter S and it's going to switch over to the swirly line. And now all I have to do is follow my mouse along these different curves. And what's going to happen is now I've got natural curves around Julianne. Might have to fix some things up, but at least I can get that. So let's follow along the ball cap with draw curves, and I'm simply just picking points along the edge of her ball cap. Check out those eyes. She's staring straight at you, by the way. She's, she's saying, bye, IDC. Uh, she's the one that actually keeps everything organized in IDC Woodcraft. So that is a draw curve. And I'm gonna just uh, escape. Now I'm gonna click that picture. And I'm going to come up to the upper left of the screen to this little icon right here where it says toggle bitmap visibility. And what that's going to do is actually turn off the bitmap or the picture of Julianne that's staring straight at you right now. I'm going to click that and I turned her off. And now you can see I've just got these nice gentle curves. And that's what draw curves is. So when you're playing with images and stuff and you want to trace images or sections of images, the draw curves tool is very handy because all you're doing is following along a curve and just every periodically you're clicking your left mouse button and it's picking a point as opposed to just drawing a bunch of straight lines. So I'll just show you one other little trick and just in case you didn't know, in case you're brand new to the Vectric software, we're gonna go back into the draw line tool, draw polyline. And we are currently still in draw curves. So Vectric has main remembered that we are in draw curves. I'm going to click the S again so it goes back to straight lines. Draw poly lines. It's taking a minute to do that. And so now we're just drawing straight lines. Now what I'm going to do, when I'm going to click right here, I'm going to hold my left mouse button and start to move the mouse. So I'm going to click, hold, and now you see it's actually drawing a curve. I'm going to hold again right here and drag the mouse, and now it has done a draw curve. Now you see these little blue buttons there, these little blue tabs. That is the node that it is actually creating 
as part of that curve. If you don't understand nodes, I'm going to link a video down below <clears throat> that'll teach you about nodes because you have to know about nodes. And if you don't have a mouse, uh, I know that many users who get into this, they don't use a mouse. You really have to get a mouse. You absolutely have to because design software is designed for using a mouse. Otherwise, you work really, really hard to do your designs and it takes you about five to ten times longer. So that's draw curves. Stop by idcwoodcraft.com uh, to check out your CNC router bits and give me a thumbs up if you think this video has helped you out and you're as happy as I am that yes, we got draw curves back. I knew they were going to do that. And subscribe to the video because I got a ton of videos for you, uh, especially if you're brand new. With that, check the links down below in the description because there's some cool stuff you need to know about, especially being a brand new person if you're brand new. And with that, have a great day, better tomorrow, and happy CNCA. IDCWoodcraft.com.